Welcome to Ground Control. I'm going to show you my preferred method, and I think it's an easy method of balancing your hubs on your props. Now, I've watched I watched a lot of tutorials when I first started out balancing props to see how other people were doing it. And I've seen I've seen mostly the uh, a super glue method. Where you put a little super glue on the light side of the hub or on the light side of the prop and the problem with that is when you've got half a dozen props that you need to balance and you're going to use super glue you've got to wait for the super glue to dry did you get enough super glue on it is it still light then you've got to apply it again and then you've got to wait if you put too much super glue on it now you've got to sand it off and then you've got to test it again and it's you know it's a long drawn out process and i don't have time to use the super glue method of balancing hubs and props. Now I already have the, I chose this prop specifically for this tutorial because this is probably the most unbalanced prop <laughs> hub, prop hub I've ever seen in my life. This is a Jim Fan 8x4 prop. And I ordered like a half a dozen of them for my super cup. And I've already balanced the blades. The blades are balanced. That's not a problem. Balancing the bra uh, blades is a simple process. Anybody can do that. But balancing the prop hubs is something completely different. And if I hold this vertical, you can see that that prop hub is way out of balance, right? Well, the first method that I tried was I just used a Dremel tool with a grinding wheel on it. And I would actually take the heavy side of the hub and I would grind material off of it until I got the hub balanced. Now in, in a lot of cases you can do that because you're not having to, they're not so out of balance that you're having to take a lot of material off of the prop hub. Well I tried that method with one of these gem fan 8x4 props and these hubs are so out of balance that I was having to cut so much of the material off the side of the prop hub that by the time that I got it balanced I didn't think it was safe to use the prop anymore I was afraid that I had weakened the hub so much because I had to take so much material off of the heavy side of that prop hub that I had to find another method of doing it so the method that I have come up with is fairly simple and fairly straightforward and what I use is duct tape duct tape is a pretty thick tape it's pretty heavy it's got fibers running through it and the adhesive is extremely good anyone who's ever used duct tape before knows it sticks to just about anything so what i've decided to do and and this method will also show you just how out of balance this prop hub is but what i try to do is is just roughly measure the um, the width or the length of tape that I need to cut off and what I'm looking at is a piece of tape that will fit in between these two prop blades where they attach to the hub I don't want I don't I don't want to keep the the size of the tape in between those two so that there's there's no interference with airflow and if you have a gap on the tape it's gonna lift off you know what I mean so so you're gonna have to get a piece of tape that is narrow enough to fit within the um, the width of the hub and the width of the area in between the two blades of the prop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut off a piece right now that will fit into that area between those two blades. Okay, so let's see. I think that'll fit in there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut squares out of it about the length of the prop. There's one. And I'm just going to temporarily stick those to the side of my workspace here until I need them or I'll just put them on the I'll put them on the edge of the tape spool. And I'm just going to keep cutting these little squares. They're about the same length as the thickness of the hub itself because I want to use as few of these pieces as possible to get this prop hub balanced and it might take quite a few so you know go ahead and use the whole strip that you've cut off it's about
balance that prop. Okay, so I've got, let me see here. I've got four fairly good sized pieces out of that one little strip and, and one smaller one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one piece on across this hub and for demonstration purposes here it probably won't be perfect but you you get the general idea okay so we've got one piece on there and we still still see that the this side of the hub is very light so what I'm gonna start doing is I'm just gonna start layering layering up these pieces of tape on this prop hub I need to trim this piece down a little bit. There we go. Okay, so I've got those pieces trimmed down. Now we've got two pieces on there. Let's test the hub again. And as you can see, the hub is still light. So our third layer of duct tape. Across this hub. We're almost there. Let's check it in the other direction too. We're almost there. I'd say maybe one more piece. This is going to be our fourth layer. Fourth layer of duct tape. And I need to trim this one back just a hair again off of the back of the hub. I got a, I got a couple of them just, just a tad too long. I don't want them hanging over the back of the hub. I want it to be, I want it to be no, no further than flush with the front and the back of the hub. Nothing that's going to catch any airflow. Okay, so now we have four layers on there, right? Okay, let's see. And we're still just slightly, ever so slightly, light on there. Okay, so I'm going to cut one more piece of tape. This will be our fifth layer. So you can see just how out of spec this prop hub is. This is the, uh, I've balanced a lot of props. And this is the most out of balance hub I've ever seen. And, you know, the sad part about that is every one of those props is the same way all six of them I mean it wasn't just an isolated thing with one prop I could understand that with one prop you know maybe they didn't get it trimmed up good maybe the mold was a little bit off but uh, to have that many props in one batch that were bad okay so I've got one more piece here this will be layer five Quite a few layers to get this thing balanced up. If I get it off my finger, you know, it sticks to everything. Okay, so now let's see where we are. Okay, so that's in one direction. Let's try it in the other. The other thing you have to be careful of sometimes is, uh, especially in a dry climate like I live in, Sometimes when you spin these props around quite a bit, this um, this holder for the prop setting on top of these two steel rollers can actually build up static electricity and that can affect your reading sometimes. So, so now our blades are balanced and our hub is balanced. Well, about as well as we can get it. Yeah, that's pretty balanced. There we go. So there you go. Um, of course, if I was doing this, you know, not doing a tutorial, I'd take a little bit more time and get all these trimmed up exactly the same. But um, that tape's not going to come off that prop hub. 
and I didn't have to take any material off of the prop hub in order to do it. So now this prop is ready to go on the plane. I know it doesn't look that pretty, but it's functional and it's a heck of a lot faster and a heck of a lot cheaper doing it this way than it is using super glue or trying to take the material off of the heavy side to lighten up the heavy side because in this case you would just have to take off so much material this wouldn't be a viable prop anymore so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial please give a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time